All you have to do is close your eyes and listen. Welcome to episode 35 of TSGG Chat. I'm your host, Kevin Bork. With me this week, we got Jake. Hey, Jake. Yo. Brett. Hello. And Kaylee. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. How y'all Thanks. doing? Uh, you know, it's uh, five feet of snow outside on the ground, so it's great. Life's good. Seven. Mm. 15,000 uh, feet of snow. It's awful. Yeah, it's probably much. snowing right now. And it's like four <laughs> degrees outside. Yeah, probably. It's the worst. One day we may... Have sun again. Maybe in May. Yeah, when we move TSGG not. somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll have snow. TSGG Texas edition. No, don't. Don't do that. <laughs> Shout out to you, Texas. <laughs> we love you. Tornado but we're not Alley. You and your Maybe banana spiders. The spiders, man. Watch out. For banana spiders. spiders, do they jump right oh. on top of you? Mm. All right, moving on. <laughs> I don't like spiders. No, no. Uh, now that I am terrified and all I can see is spiders, <laughs> where do we begin the show? Let's start with spiders. I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. Follow us over at Twitter at the GG. Subscribe to us at youtube.com slash the society. Watch us live at twitch.tv slash TSGG online. Not anymore. And tonight, mixer.com slash TSGG online. Both. Well, we don't know exactly what the website is right now, do we? Yeah. Is it? TSGG underscore online. Oh, there you go. Mixer.com. Yeah. As of the Brand time you've heard things. this, our first Mixer stream will have been completed, and that is going to be Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts. Oh, yeah. Also, get early access so to excited. us if you subscribe over at patreon.com slash TSGG. Let's start with the news. So, big news this week is Kingdom Hearts 3. Three, releasing three, three. it's finally happening did you ever think this day would come never it's gonna be just like uh final fantasy 7 when yep. you gotta buy me the collector's edition <laughs> it's not gonna oh that's gonna happen <laughs> yeah the bet, nah, 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 bet nah, was nah. made it's not gonna happen because and witnessed. final fantasy 7 is never coming out you stop that listen I'm, <laughs> I'm a patient woman i will wait well kingdom hearts launches tonight and uh, that's that right people said seven, that would never seven happen is their next title yeah, how, so, long, yeah. how long did kingdom hearts 3 take to get to where it needed to be yeah, it took 10 years Twenty thousand years, years exactly six so. years from announcement it's only been 21 years since final fantasy 7 has been started <laughs> no that's not true it came out in 97 not, yeah 97 actually yeah, as long, but that's, yeah but that's the not, remake yeah. was only 10 years ago. No, the remake. The promise for was, the remake. Yeah. No, the promise. When was that? That was that was like 2012. When, they, when they showed off PlayStation 3. They were like, no, hey, yeah. no, that was a tech demo. That's how we got Advent Children. Isn't, and that's how we got Advent Children. I think they made the little teaser trailer. The little tech demo. And then they, showing off the power of the And then they turned PS3. it into the movie. Advent Children was so good and yeah. so bad at the yeah, same time. You're right. Yep. John Bon Jovi has cloud. <laughs> so, yes. Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out and we're going to have two of our members streaming and recording footage so check out the channels and also check out youtube to see everything kingdom hearts 3 and our kingdom hearts 3 review hopefully will be up by the end of the week maybe the end of next week so look for that as well oh that's gonna i'm so excited me too me uh, too many... bad i can't carry you in this one too <laughs> oh Okay, baby. This one's solo. You got to play by yourself. Baby Bjorn. Baby you, Bjorn. You have to oh, play dear. alone and you have to face the boss. That's okay. I'm very good at being solo. The end boss. <laughs> Jake. Oh my God. Plot twist. I'm the end boss. You lose. <laughs> baby Bjorn. How many how many Kingdom Hearts did you play? None of them. Oh, so this is your first this is your yes. first time. Correct. Oh, going solo. No, it's not my first time going solo. <laughs> In fact, I've been doing that since I was about twelve. <laughs> no, okay, so so Kingdom Hearts, I played uh, not all of them, but I played the first, second, Dream Drop Distance, and Birth by Sleep. So I played 
a chunk of them. See, I only played the first and second, so. So I mean, and I played, have the other one. I just haven't gotten a chance to play. I played it. a chunk of them, but I don't think uh, I I I don't know what to expect, honestly, with this. Um, awesomeness. I'm hoping. Oh, that, it's going to be incredible. You know, uh, the thing about it is, I'm I'm hoping with all the Keyblade users, I'm hoping that Sora is not going to have the limelight. I'm hoping that you can actually use some of the other ones. I don't know if that's a thing. Or not. I don't think. It's I don't going believe to be. so. Yeah, but I don't, based I don't on the gameplay that I've everything seen we've online seen, and yeah. stuff, it's all Sora. Imagine that. everything you've seen. Imagine yeah. all of a sudden you can switch between like Sora and and Axel, which is actually his name is Lee, because he's now a Keyblade user. Now that he's no longer a heartless. Yeah, and his keyblade looks. Yeah, you like that knowledge? S- super. I watched wild. some videos, right? Yeah, he's got I the knowledge. I understand. I I've only watched the I've only watched the commercials. I've tried to keep it. Like for me, I'm all about keeping. You pulled a me yeah. in total blackout, not looking at anything, so you can just oh, enjoy it fighting. as soon as you open it. I hated the warnings because like all the all the warnings. They're like, yeah, don't do anything with Kingdom Hearts right now. You're gonna see. Everything. Yeah. Well, out. That's because oh, yeah. The, that was because of the leak. They had. Mm. Well, not only that, but they also gave the content creators the full game early. And, yeah. Uh, and didn't have them NDA or anything. They said, "Go ahead and stream the whole game if you want to." Which. Uh, and that's why they were like, "Hey guys, if you don't want to see it, don't look it up because everything is going to be there." So what's yep. your what what? So I've seen learned? combat, but nothing else like story or anything like that. So you said we talked about this a little bit earlier. Uh, so you said that your favorite world you think is going to be Winnie the Pooh, the yep, the Hundred Acre Woods. Woods. That's going to be your favorite world? Yeah, I think so. That or uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I was going to say. Because that looks how? insane. Yeah, well, Pirates of the Caribbean Woods looks is, awesome. is just... It's the minigame place. It hits home with zone. me a lot yeah. because that was kind of... Winnie the Pooh was kind of the one that we read the books for and did that growing up. So that was my childhood cartoon kind of thing. Um, I know you guys grew up with like oh, Bob. black and white Bugs Bunny, but easy. <laughs> but easy. Mine was the it, Hundred Acre Woods. Fair, and mine was, was color. Also one of the it was poem, color. So it was. <laughs> it was Bugs Bunny, but it was color. <laughs> I'm excited for Big Hero Six and Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh yeah, Baymax is going to be good. That's that's going to be another good. I know they have they have Toy Story. There's a whole bunch yeah, of Toy Story. I think in there's there. like almost Tangled. Ten. ten. Tang- oh yeah, Tangled that's, too. That's what Brennan's excited for. Frozen. He, don't forget. He the told me to make sure. Mm-hmm. That uh, even though he couldn't be here tonight, to make sure that I let people know, Tangled was the one he was looking forward to because he wanted to be Flynn Rider. So he the wanted smolder? me to make sure that that's was his, sold. That's Is his that, moment. Yes. Do a, do a smolder right now for me. Always. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> there was an eyebrow raise. You should take a picture of that. Show that to everybody. <laughs> so, like, you are going to be playing it? Any? No. Eventually. I, I'm oh, just. Like, you, I me, can't. and Brennan. That's a sad face. Well, it'll be all over YouTube and stuff, so they'll see it. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be and they're gonna be watching the streams tonight with both of us. So, oh yeah, yeah I'll be, be I'll be tuning in. Kingdom Hearts really never hit it home for me, so because you never played it. Yeah, I was never really into. I those, love Kingdom so. Hearts. It's just after watching the combat tonight, you're gonna want to play it. I'm just gonna let you know that. Yeah, because it, well, it, yeah, impress me and I'll play it. Well, it's oh, I'm playing. You know, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be impressive, all right? I mean, it's. If you really want to put it down Baby and Bjorn. think about it, Final Fantasy 15 has a lot mm-hmm. similar, like when it comes to like the combat style. Uh, a lot Final of Final Fantasy very... it was more of the team, though. I think when you play it, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna feel that they took a lot of elements from the games that they've been building and make this much a much more smoother experience. Mm-hmm. To be fair, uh, the Kingdom Hearts games always had a relatively smooth like, combat. Yeah, it's really easy to and understand. And they were a lot of fun. Like, like we, I we actually have finished. The, uh... HD remakes, right? Yeah. Yeah, 1.5. We've got those. I haven't... It's 1.5 and 2.5. Yeah. It's just, it's so hard going back in time and then going like, oh, oh, this is so old school like the graphics and stuff. Yeah. Not, not, no, this is the controls and like, because you just get so used to having like, you know, the the perspective and stuff. You just get so used to having a certain freedom and then it's like, oh, it's really restrictive. It used to follow the old like Square Enix like pathing. Mm-hmm. With how they had their their like buttons pressed because the pathing, uh, I remember because it always followed the same patterns. Like Final Fantasy, like the actual confirmation button was always the the left button, the circle. Like, and they always that, followed. That would be the right button. The right button. You're right. And it's B. Wow. Yeah, and that one. So, are you getting <laughs> yours on one. PlayStation? On yes. the Xbox. You're getting Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and we're both gonna get the two different keyblades. So we're both gonna yeah. see. The yeah, two they're different exclusive. Exclusive items. Yeah. Uh, 
Phantom first time Kingdom Hearts being on Xbox, so that's really good. Mm-hmm. That is a big sign. Came, came out on thing, Xbox's yeah. stage. I'm just saying. Yeah, it came out at E3 on Microsoft. Yeah, they stage. announced it with the, the. That was a very long trailer too. It was like a, Sony. Was. Sony trailer. had its own though. Sony had Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep, they did. Yes. So I mean, but then again, Kingdom Hearts was literally almost on every stage. Well, it's yeah. Disney. Yeah. You know? yeah. So Disney owns everything. Disney's backing was pretty powerful. Yeah. yeah. Disney. Well, Disney. I mean, anytime. Has the power. And they have so many properties that they have access to yeah. as well. Yeah, it's just like so, something Kaylee was mentioning about the old school stuff and the control schemes, for example. It's a shame that they didn't have Star Wars in it. If you look I was at... actually just thinking oh, that, that. Right? Uh, that's kind of a stretch. Yeah. It's still Disney. That's a stretch. It's, it's, that's you're, Lucas. You're saying Baymax and all those. Oh, yeah. you're talking licensing. I yeah. was thinking... Well, no, no. Like Disney up. owns it, but it just doesn't fit there. Yeah, but it can. Yeah, but it Pirates Baymax, of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. There are so many worlds that they yeah. make fit. That Imagine the, Star Wars the, the thing and I've the Marvel about Kingdom Hearts Marvel is that they've universe. made uh, that's them just feel... Too much. Not, they've not made them feel like they belong to the world. So be seeing no Wolverine in there. Yeah. No, you wouldn't see Wolverine because it's Fox. What? No. Disney owns that. Not yet. Yeah. That didn't go through? I thought no. that went through. No, it's not Not, not that one. It's well, like, anyway, what I was saying about the older <laughs> games was that, was like, Fox or Sony? another Sony. game that just came out was Resident Evil 2. Mm-hmm. Mm. And if you go back and play that, they had cameras, zones, the control scheme. It was one of my favorite games, but I just can't go back and play it because I play games that come out now that are completely different. That are they're just made so much better now. And then when you go back and you're like, oh, this is so yeah. clunky. So when you get a remake and not a remaster, I'm more interested in that because they're remaking it from the ground up. You're referring to like the new remake for Resident Evil 2 too. Right, which like, is a masterpiece. Speaking about what I love about that game, because they have DLC that you can have where you can bring like the characters and have them have the old... One comes out in February. The yeah. old... Um, the character designs for them, the old block. Yeah, you characters. can do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, you that's can, awesome. You so can cool. put in the old uh, OST and that's everything. Amazing. And oh, that's amazing. I love that. <laughs> no. It's tailored for what they just created, but it's cool that they give you those options. What's not cool is that they put it behind a paywall. I don't appreciate that. Mm, well, they have to. That's... They're making a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. Buku. This is, to me, the best Resident Evil game of all time. What would you like? If a lot we of people to... say it's four. If you were to pick the list, like I think the only ones that are really hit the hit the big ones are obviously the original is really good. Seven, but it's got not a lot of love. Two, four, and seven, I think, are the are the big ones. Like I would say, two, four, one, seven. Yeah, That's... and then scrap the rest. Because I mean, seven, I I loved seven. Seven was amazing. I loved four too. And four, like the more you played it, the more fun it got. Like once you once you beat it, and you're like, what's this new game plus? See, the thing with <laughs> four was it captivated from the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Because as soon as you start that game, you're in it. It's intense from the moment you start. Well, that's how seven was. Brennan got ten seconds in. Mm-hmm. And he was like nope. through the no, forest to be fair, through the mansion. It was like nah. <laughs> to be fair, he had to quit playing until dawn. So I don't even remember that one. All I know it's is it's not that scary. I was playing Overwatch in oh, my that's room. That's why I'm going to be playing soon. Yeah, and he said Kaylee's going to be playing that, so that'll be up you on our yeah? channel. Is it out here yeah, and, we're going to yeah. record it. No, and, it's not recording yet, but we will. That's dope. Yeah, we're gonna have her play through it until dawn's really cool. I literally know nothing dark. about it, so it's awesome. That's that's one of the things that that's good about me not doing the research about different stuff is that like when there's something to be a surprise, I'm not gonna be like, yeah. oh, I already know about this hair well, flip. Until dawn is is really unique in its own way. It, I don't think it was. Well, I think it was sold as a full full money title, a whole sixty dollars when it came out. Definitely wasn't. That's it was a very know, short right? game, though. Really good decision making is amazing for it. So have fun with that. Well, uh, we'll be talking about some decision making later on, but that's the feature. <laughs> Back <laughs> to Kingdom Hearts for a moment. There is some bad news about Kingdom Hearts really coming like from this. GameStop. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, GameStop officially tweeted out due oh. to an error. We oversold on pre-orders for the limited edition Kingdom Hearts 3 PlayStation 4 Pro, and unfortunately, some orders had to be canceled. Guests who had an order canceled will receive a $25 gift coupon. 
We apologize for the inconvenience and frustration this has caused. So what are they? This is not the first time this has happened with GameStop. This is absolutely brutal, by the way. So it's it's crushing. What do they what do they get along? Like, do they get their money back for obviously the pre order or anything like that? So how it works, um, and this is because GameStop, of course, has the the trade in system, right? Mm-hmm. If you traded something in, you're getting those credits back, except they're only going to be returned to you however much they gave you. Right. At so if you time, traded yeah. in a PS4 Pro for less than it actually costs, oh. you're no longer getting your PS4 Pro back. You're Sad. getting your credits back. But if you want, obviously you wanted your PS4 Pro right, you're going to have to pay them more money than they gave you oh. Yeah, to get your PS4 Pro back. That's it's an unfortunate situation all around. One that should be resolved internally. Uh, we're not going to go into speculation, but there's something going on there where... You should not have a system where you can sell more pre-orders than what you have. And to force your employees to do that, if they are doing that, is a system they need to get away from immediately because right. they're they're hurting the business all around by doing that. So once was a fluke, twice now. Is, yeah, there's a systematic. Problem. It's a pattern. Well, that's so. crushing for people. Like I, I know how I felt not being able to even pre-order. I was upset. But the fact to think that you had it pre-ordered, had it right. in the bag, You've been looking forward to it the whole time, and then, and then all of a sudden, oh, you canceled. Three, and Here's it wasn't even bucks. like it wasn't even like they let you know way ahead of time. This was three days ago. This just happened. Three, three days, days before, before release, they're release. like, "Hey guys, yeah, you're not getting this." Yeah. Sorry, I would have been so we oversold. Fierce. Here's twenty five bucks. And, and on have top nice of that, day. the way they did it was so honestly like not caring. They wrote you a two line email that said, "Yeah, this is what happened." Here's your twenty five dollar gift card. Nothing else. No real apology. No, no. This could be handled in the future. Nothing like trying to actually fix the situation. It was all, yeah. This is how it is. Kind of sucks. Yep. So happen the same exact way multiple times means it's not some random error. Yeah. Uh, so back on Resident Evil as well for a moment. Mm-hmm. Here's some other news. A Netflix original series, also Resident Evil. It's an is anime, coming. isn't it? No, it is oh, live action. Not. Which that's going to be based on the original Resident Evil from what it shows. Yep. Yeah. Because the mansion. Yeah, they, <clears> they <throat> showed a, an image of the mansion, and that's all they oh, showed. Do you remember the... That, that looks exactly like uh, Sinister. Not Sinister. Um, what is the one? It's my favorite horror movie. Insidious? Insidious. Yeah, that not looks Sinister. exactly like Insidious. Do you, do you remember the original like Resident Evil, the one where they had the live action characters? Oh yeah, with uh, <laughs> Mia Jojovich. Uh, it's so good, so, so good bad, but it was bad. so good. Yeah, Michelle Barry. Rodriguez. Barry was Back my favorite. Here, Jill, have this kid. Oh, you're fizz. talking about the game. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about that the movie. and the live uh, action with it. Not the. Not oh, you're the talking movie. about the they, live they action cutscenes. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, those are so bad. <laughs> the dudes running in through the field and they had dogs. Oh no, so dogs. Bad. Ah, uh, yeah, it was so bad. We've now come a long way, so you don't have to have live actors. There, there was a live action, I think, for Resident Evil Two for the upcoming one. I think they they made a live action video for it. Yeah, you could. Did we watch to, that? You could choose to do that. I think we did. Yeah, that's one of the know. settings. It's simpler. You can, you can choose to have them. Two uh, K Sports is in the news, and NBA specifically. They. Uh, the licensing deal between 2K and NBA is being extended to seven years. And Take Two is paying $1.1 billion for seven years. Oh my God. The money that they get from it, obviously. Oh, yeah. 2K is insane. I played the money's going to the NBA and the players' union. I played 2K19 and I did the I did the facial scan for my character. It's a it's an experience. <laughs> They're calling it a multi-year global partnership extension. Can we t- I would love to see that. I could show. It I to need you. To, I need to see that. I tried to do everything exactly as I looked. I tried to do the hair and everything. So see, I remember when they Except had the I'm demo for that, boy. and they they they, off, they offered to have it. And I was trying to find it on my Android phone. They didn't have it for my phone model. So yeah, I wasn't for, able. Like, the thing, the thing that I didn't like about it is that I had to do it five or six times for it to actually work. Because they're like, "Yeah, you need to, you need to take the camera and then point it directly to your face." Which I didn't do that at the end. At the end, I just went this whoop and went it, and I dragged it around because mm-hmm. it was easier that way. So they said, "Take the camera and then go like this and move your head left and then right." 
So like it was just. I hate that you just actually did that. <laughs> you demonstrated like, it like for us. We could see it, or anybody <laughs> listening could see it. Well, you guys are all imagining it right now. Yep. <laughs> but it was. I'll, I will. I will literally take a picture of it tonight because I, I we have a couple hours before Kingdom Hearts three comes out, and then after that, I'm going to never be like that. He, he's tomorrow. I'm going to be gone. Like I will not appear out of my hole. He will be. My little cave is going to be. Cage which uh, three. which world are you going to spend the most time in? You think? Oh, probably Big Hero Six. Big you Hero, think so? probably. I'm pretty excited for the Halloween one. Big Hero, he looks so good in that. Oh, and not, let's not forget Monsters Inc. Yeah, Monsters, Monsters Inc. Inc. That's right. Oh, oh man. he looks so adorable. <laughs> so many. It's going to be so good. I, I can't wait to like watch. Ten you guys. or eleven. It's... Oh, there's a lot more than there ever was. Yeah, like... there's never been this many worlds. No, I mean it's huge. This is a next gen game. So, you, yeah. well, current gen. Current gen. You know what I mean? But it'll probably be on next gen. Oh, it'll be, it'll, they'll bring it over. Yeah. I mean, in, in comparison to everything else, like Squeenix has, has not really done anything terribly bad lately, except for the quiet man or whatever it was called. I don't think Squeenix Ooh, honestly yeah, gets enough terrible. respect as a studio. You Like when we were doing our top five list, man. we, uh, we didn't even list them. Tomb Raider. They were on mine. I know. But like when, when I consider it, I don't think it's like... You don't hear about them as much, but the, they release title after title that is so good, and, and, and it's the, just like and the realization though that they make Just Cause, Hitman, Tomb Raider, right. Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, like Dragon yeah. Quest, yeah, Dragon Quest. They make so many of these titles and so many genres and things like like you just hit like Star Ocean four too. Genres by the way. There. Star Ocean, Star Ocean, Star Ocean yeah. when it was good, yeah, bastards. <laughs> It was awful. Dude, I can't express the amount of pain because I played the original Star Oceans, the first, second, and third one. So the first, second, and then Till the End of Time. Till the End of Time was amazing because Till the End of Time, they had one of the longest games you could ever play for the PlayStation 2, and it was... Was it Till the End of Time? Yeah, pretty much. But the only thing, the ending kind of went wonky, but it was such a great game in comparison to the games that they came out with afterwards, which were... Just insult after insult. Uh, oh, they went to a online focus. No, not not quite. I mean, for the not for the well, the last one maybe because I didn't play the last one. the The one yeah, before were, that was not good. They were working on like MMO type stuff. The one before that was like uh, what was it called? I can't even remember it. I blanked it out of my mind. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we're moving on. Nintendo Switch owners rejoice. <laughs> Sword Art Online is coming to Nintendo Switch. Yeah. This is the good one, Which Hollow one? Realization. I, I think they're all good. I have it's them coming all on to PlayStation. Spring. I love them. Do you? Yeah. They're Hollow, Real, very Hollow fun Realization games. is mm-hmm. the most in-depth one. Is that the one where I haven't played the Gunglaive the, one. Is that though. the one where it's more like an MMO based yeah. like where yeah. you actually yeah, that's do fighting? One. Yep. <sighs> So this is I'm the deluxe edition, de- de- and it has the DLC. Soon. So that's really cool. That it's the first cool. time Sword Art's coming to Nintendo. Uh, also, what? Okay. A tweet came out. Oh, a Twitter tweet, 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 tweet. This is what the content said. Showed the first two hours of gameplay to our Gorilla Brothers. Yes, Hideo was demonstrating it. it- the game is not fully completed yet. Kojima. The picture shows the friendship between us. Keep our mutual secrets here. Wait, what? Two hours Hideo Kojima played Death Stranding for the Gorilla team. Wait, what? Gorilla gave Hideo Kojima, for those of you that don't know, their game engine. When he joined Sony the first day, the lead of Gorilla. Walked up to him and handed him a flash drive with their code. And he broke down into tears because nobody had treated him that way before. I am. Now he's making this game. And so they brought it to the Gorilla Studio and played two hours of the game. And this is Gorilla's Decima engine. But it's all secret. Wait, what? But wait, wait, wait. Hold these, on, please. <laughs> these what is Dutch the developers. Length of a movie right now? <laughs> Stop it. Two hours? <laughs> these Dutch developers are among the first to see this game so in one, actual this motion. This confirms that it exists. Oh my God, I'm dying right now. Like, I can't even express the amount of excitement for this because this show is that if there's two hours of gameplay, that means that there is, this is at least debate. two hours gameplay. This is a debate. It's a movie. All right. <laughs> oh. He took him to the cinema and was like, guys, we're watching. <laughs> Here's some popcorn. Yeah, like. Oh, I can't even I can't even stress. So then the, the gorilla folks, team amazing. that was able to watch it, they mm-hmm. went to Twitter and said they had just witnessed 
something that they didn't know their engine was capable of. That's amazing. And they were completely blown away by what they saw. That's amazing. This is good for them. All right. <laughs> I've seen nothing. Someone's a little salty. I mean, to be I fair, got 45 seconds of a lion. My question lion is. Lion mask monster yeah. summoned from With someone. these little question teases, marks. is 2019 the year? No. No, oh. 2020. No, 2019 is the year. You think so? Calling it. That's two hours. That's two hours. Yeah, that that's is two hours, two, but it's two. it's Kojima. So he could just be trolling all of us because he can. I'm telling you, the average length of a movie right now is like 145, <laughs> two hours. And he showed him a movie. DBZ guys. Broly was 140. So. He was just tight. He was clicking on the controller, and they thought he was doing it. Reality, it was just a it's movie. It's just Norman playing. Reedus walking around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many deliveries simula- were made simulator. in that demo? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I think it's going to be out this year. I think it's going to be out. So. If it is, it's going to be last quarter. It's be Christmas. I think yeah. it's next gen. Which is I think it should be next gen, honestly. I don't know. If it, if they said that they played two hours of it, most likely it was... I, I'm assuming no, I mean, that they be, have well, access to... Well, the dev kits to, have been out, be dev so... Kit, yeah. yeah. And it's Gorilla, who's probably making Horizon 2 right now. Oh, I can't wait. Which will be next gen. I loved Horizon. there would be a Horizon 2? Yeah, there will yeah. be. Yeah. You think so? Yes, because they have oh, to continue yeah. on with... The story yeah. that they've left is pretty don't, open-ended. Yeah, it's it's wide open. Yeah. Don't don't what are spoilers? Are you gonna tell me spoilers? spoilers. It's been three Come on, like a three-year-old game. Newsflash! It's whole, in the future. The whole campaign was like eight, nine hours, ten yeah. hours. No, I mean, if you did the that. whole thing, it, it was that it was a solid eighteen a, or twenty hours. No, like it's come on. If you you talking about just straight story? I be I I hundred percent of the game. I hundred percent of the game too. One hundred percent is at least forty hours. I think it was about twenty hours. I'll have to check. It's got to be forty because I hundred percent. You're way too short. There's so many collectibles and everything. 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 Yeah. I plan. I I hundred percent of the stuff, including the stuff that they didn't have for Horizon. I'm thinking it's forty. I think I'm thinking it's right there with God of War too. I agree with you. I think it's a twenty hour game. I think he's just slow. No, I think it's right there with God of Did War. Did you find everything? Yeah, I, yeah 100%, 100% of the, of the game. game. Like until I, I They don't give you a, a I bought my PS4 for, for that game. I didn't do the downloadable content for it, though. Cause oh, I didn't do it either. Frozen oh, North either. or whatever it was called. I, I, I want, have it, too. But I've just never... You know, it's hard because I love when games do stuff like that, but there's so many games that come out, and I'm like, man, I'm not going back to play and that. And I want to be realistic with it. Like It was so long for it to come out that I, that I yeah, lost. Yeah, it was like six months later. 100% lost interest. Like I loved the game. Yeah, we kind of had this conversation before. When's a good time to come out with stuff? It's I gotta, think three months. Yeah. It's got to be. It's, I think Monster Hunter World is the actual answer for everything here. But the thing that they did, they, they did it. We got small stuff every week, and then big stuff would come every couple months. So yeah. that's, that's what that's they did really well to keep people's a, interest. Uh, a sustainable model for smaller studios and <laughs> that's well, a gorilla is not a small studio. <laughs> no, no. I'm saying like with a for me for me I just want it to be like let's just make it where you with games like this you should have something to keep the interest of the player. Can I talk about Anthem because this is a perfect not discussion. Not yet. No, 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 no. So <laughs> we're we're about to for solo <laughs> so for solo player games like with solo solo playing games like Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm-hmm. You want to catch people and keep them coming back. So, like, it's just like, for example, once you hundred percent that percent that game, what I else mean, do they, you have they to had do? new game right. plus, but there's no point to it. Yeah, right. there's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You don't yeah. get when any in the actual I, I act of hundred percenting it. You've done everything. Similar, to, yeah. similar you, to God of War. Like, once yeah, you get to God of War and you do everything from that, that's just you're it's done. over. Well, God yeah. of War yeah. had some end game content that separated them a little bit, like the Valkyries and stuff that you mm-hmm. didn't have to do. So that yeah, separated but, them a little bit. So I think they just assumed. I think Horizon just assumed that you're going to run through the story and then want to come back and finish everything up. But that's not how I play games. I don't think that's I'm the one I want to I want to do everything done. I got I got upset when when they like gave you a bigger part of the map and I'm like fuck like there is There's so much that do. I have to go to like yeah and they're like yeah you forgot this when you were running and I'm like God I was actually really upset game. that the T Rexes weren't harder to kill because by the end of it you just got so you had it down you I was knew upset the exact that I couldn't ride. arrows I couldn't yeah. I was upset that I couldn't make the giant the giant giraffe weather things I wanted to ride one of those and make it my my personal I transport thought you were say make it my bitch. I almost did. Keep <laughs> keep in mind here that this was Guerrilla Games' very first RPG, and, it was and the game was beautiful. they nailed it. Like actually, the Guerrilla Games if you were, the is known thing, for shooters. Here's here's so my to go only, from a shooter to this. I think they did a fantastic job. One complaint the game is though, incredible. It is like if we're talking about the visuals of the game. One well, it's not perfect. Small complaint, and this is the only thing is the lips. Oh yeah. 
every character's lips look like they just person them. Just, they all had the same janky teeth. They all yeah, look like they wanted to just kiss you on the face. Like, <laughs> Pooch lips oh, like, every time. Yeah. <laughs> However, I think that was my first game I played in 4K, and it looked gorgeous. Oh, it definitely did. So I, I do not disagree with that, but the pursed lips really bothered me. <laughs> It's funny. I don't remember that at all whatsoever. Well, and, I remember uh, the mouths were a little. Once you watch it, again, if you ever go back I'll to it, I'll never be able to look at it without seeing it. Now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm one of those people who really, I'll see something because that's the whole thing. My eyes are trained to see things. Once Honestly, I see I it, I'm done. Right like it. once it has been dialogue. seen, it cannot be unseen. Yeah. And once I see, I'm already there, and I'm like, <laughs> that's honestly my yeah, worst thing with like every JRPGs. Time. Is that once it gets to a certain point, I'm like, all this dialogue is gone. I'm skipping everything. Oh, well, that's no, not I'm the same. Do that way. with it. It's well, just it gets so I mean, repetitive. I would never do that in a Bioware game. No, but, but that's, with a JRPG, I'm totally doing that because yeah. I'm playing that for the combat. Right. JRPGs once, just get so repetitive with it, and there's so many yeah. of them. Hello, like, Tales the games. That I'm just like, all right, I don't care anymore. Give me the skip button. Well, like, this is the thing that I do is I, I usually, once once I finish the sentence, like I'm reading what it's saying and they can't yes, say it fast exactly. enough, I'm like, done. Yep. Well, you got to do that and I'm done. Well, let's go say that done. <laughs> yep. Right. You've already taken in the information. Now you're just ready for the next. Yeah. Like, oh, in Octopath Traveler, there's only a few of the characters' storylines that I actually care about. The rest I did of them, all of their I back stories. Them. I did all the backstory, and I was like, "Oh my god! Why did you do that? This is so repetitive." Never and that. the exact yeah. same thing because I, I wanted to make you. sure I got Ooh. all of them. Alfin, but I was just like, "Oh my god!" Uh, one little last Elfins bit of news did suck. Yeah, it was terrible. It was so bad. <laughs> one final bit of news is VR has grown by thirty percent in 2018, which is really big news. And That's it was led by growth. PlayStation VR, which is also great news because console Xbox VR, well, I mean, like VR in general, is on the up and up. And it's not just another peripheral that came out, got pushed, failed, and they're going to forget about it, mm-hmm. which is putting deeper roots into next gen's Well, Madbox is supposed to come out with I'm VR really- capable. They did say that. Oh, did you see the mock-ups for the mm-hmm. Madbox? It looks yeah, so man. good. I'm telling you, they're the legit. controllers look so terrible. So about the VR is like, the thing that is that the PlayStation has been the same. They said that's four years out, though. Like so. even what was the PlayStation version 2, whatever it is, the, the newest model of it is still the same as it's always been. When you look at other VR. No, no, no. The PlayStation 2 will be next gen. There's no VR I thought they 2 had right like now. an update with the VR. Yeah, they, the only thing they did was updated the, the little box with it so that you can do 4K pass through. Oh. Yeah, so version 2 will be PS5 like or whatever they call the, it. I'm hoping that they follow the Xbox the, Anaconda. They will not they will not call it that. <laughs> I <laughs> That's Xbox's uh that's their code name. Code name for the Xbox right now, Anaconda. And yeah. and Scarlet and Maverick. And Scarlet and Maverick. Yeah, I know them all. Be proud of me. I was actually. <laughs> So back to the VR for really, yeah, go ahead. really quick here. So I've done a little bit of research on this, not enough to be an expert, but they have advanced so much that when it comes to it, you don't have to have the tangle of cords anymore. Now it can be completely, you know, cordless. Right. Yeah. And you don't have to have the hanging cameras that monitor your viewing anymore. It does it all through your headset. Like yeah. the amount of technology that they have put into this. And the amount of like continuous push for positive, you know, work, it's insane that I'm hoping that the consoles follow suit to the ones that are making those pushes. Oculus Rift is the big one. They're gonna yeah. have to have better um frame rates. Consistent and they frame will. rates. They will in next gen because it's the hard. hardware like, no no. The next gen the hardware will be capable with of pushing the frame rates. I was doing a little research on it and the reason why you feel like you're falling sometimes is because the frame rates aren't where they need to be. They yeah, need the false emotion. That's the hardest part with the VR is they have to match each eye. So each right. eye has to have the same frame rate, and that can cause you to have that. Yeah. Because our brains aren't wired that way. So if one one drops uh, below a lower frame rate, you, that's when you get that feeling like you're falling is because your eyes aren't matching up. Like the VR PSVR right now cannot do 60 frames, and that's the rumor is that next gen – each lens will do 60 frames, right. which means the console itself will probably do 120, which is Ooh. a very big sign. Hopefully. 120 would it, be... That's how you do it, and that's how you do 3D as well. Pro, you you chop it in half. Yeah. So, 
Well, I think the Pro is going to be capable of doing more, plus it'll have the ray tracing. I don't know if you... I, I don't think anything next-gen even breaks 120. I think 120 is the high, the highest for them. Oh, yeah, I agree, but so I think I it'll be capable of doing more. Uh, I think yeah, if, I, mean, I think they yeah, have I it they're compatible gonna lock it. that yeah, it's going to yeah, be yeah. at least $100 more per console. Yeah, they're going to be five hundred. Well, I think yeah, because I think what they're if if it if yeah, I, but if, th- I, if I if I if you're getting value for what you're buying, I I don't have an issue with paying. Yeah. No, and, not at all. If you're and just casual that, gaming, then yeah. yeah. You Super want to charge me five hundred bucks to stream games? Uh, go fuck yourself because I'm never buying. Because <laughs> that's what I think is going to is going to happen with the Xbox is that you're going to get you're going to get a tier of of the of yeah. That's the why prices. they're making yeah, three yeah, of them. Yeah, of course, one's going to be the stream box and no optical drive. Which I'm wondering the if the other one's going to be the base be, model. That might even be two hundred dollars. That might yeah. be. Very it's going to be entry level. The stream one is actually rumored to come out this year. Mm. So it could be their E3. It's streaming. That could be why he said it's and a, the technology that they're putting. Ooh, ma- hold up. Yeah. Now let's, let's. He walks out on the stage just holding it, and he's like, "I think, hey guys, yeah, I think you. it's legit. And We're it's probably going to see yeah. that. Yeah, that's, that'd be nutty. Because he said he's been playing the X-Cloud. technology. Yeah, he's been playing. He's playing on the Maverick, right? Which is this. this the code name Maverick is that. Do we do we have pictures of any of it? Yet? No, no, there are no pictures. But he, still, he said in still the mystery uh, box. He said in the podcast that he's been playing XCloud for a couple months now, which is the streaming service. He said it's not ready for everybody yet, but it's looking very promising. Mm-hmm. And the interior components of this Maverick device, it doesn't have an optical drive. It is streaming only. It has controller. Which it'll have the new Xbox controller redesigned because they'll redesign it for the new gen. Mm-hmm. And so it'll have that one. And then everything inside the hardware, its purpose is to make it so that your bandwidth is not going to be an issue. Right. The system Regardless itself is lives. going to do all of the buffering and handle all of the latency See, so I'm- that no matter what your connection is, you get to stream and play that game. And this is why we're jumping to Mixer. <laughs> right. So, I mean, like, that's that's their focus. So I'm 100% they, excited about that. Because Sony came out nice. with PlayStation Now, and it only works for people who live and in was, major markets. It was not a... It, yeah, it was a flop, though. That's compared, not a flop at all. It's yeah. the number one... Yeah, it, was, it was the number one last year. It's the not, number one uh, it went, streaming service. It did. That's awful. We went over that list. Yeah, because in the major markets, you have millions of people, and it works well there. But when you get to rural areas, it doesn't. And that's the whole purpose of the hardware is to Because most people don't live in major metropolitan areas. There are are good portions of people who can, but they want to have access to the whole area. Yeah. Like, We're we're not really rural. We live in a city, but it's... We're still right. way behind. Yeah. And if you want to get even global, America is way behind. Well, there's a reason that South Korea is dominating the gaming. Yeah. yeah. They are on LAN internet and all have 0.1 millisecond of ping at most. But that's it for the news this week. Let's get into our main feature. We are talking about Kingdom Hearts 3. Anthem. <laughs> VIP demo. And Brett just died. Correct. And he collapsed. I will be saying nothing. So we have some reactions to the demo. Day one. Yikes. I predicted a less than 20% chance that we would not experience connection issues. I was right. <laughs> we experienced connection you issues. You say that. Uh, well, server and login issues plagued the entire day. The amount of rage for that the first Brett had was I was so hurt. <laughs> yeah, it was at, at one point I I kind of chuckled because it's the irony factor, but I Did really you like my jokes on Twitter. I really felt bad. <laughs> I did for like you. I was trying to like make myself feel better. I I heard that the actual pain from the distance between our yeah. houses. I yeah, think. I felt it all over here. I'm like, I was, oh, I poor. Was, Brett. Cause trying to make myself feel I better. felt it. I felt it all the way. Because once I started reading it, I'm like, oh, no. Did you, make, did you see my Titanic joke? <laughs> no. Because yeah. they, got, they got in, and they kept asking yeah. if we got in. So I was like, my friends asked me if I got into the Anthem VIP demo. And then it was the gif of the girl, and I was like, it's been 84 years. I laughed. <laughs> I laughed about it. <laughs> so. so for the first 12 hours on day one, on Xbox One, the game was mostly unplayable. At midnight, we all gave up and decided to try on day two. 
7 PC and PlayStation, however, were fixed and playable about six hours into day one. The Bioware team actually did work throughout the entire night to make sure that these issues mm -hmm. were resolved and that players would be able to log in on the next day. So that is a really good sign, and shout out to Bioware for doing that because yeah. their head of PR Seriously. was still tweeting at 3 a.m. our time. So yeah. It made for a long day for him. However, we were able to get in, and we weren't able to really do much, but we were able to get that. I smashed out that. First look video for you guys. Made Brett proud. Showed off the Ranger skills. The Ranger just makes everybody look good. No, <laughs> not really. The Ranger is probably the weakest of them you all. Thought, I yeah. actually love the Ranger. I had no, no If we'll, we'll talk about what we like and don't like in a minute. Day two. So day two, the game was playable, and that was the best state that it was in for the rest of the remaining two days. However, there was a... 95%. Consistent issue that we hit, and that is the 95% loading screen. You would hit this leaving Fort Tarsus into a mission. You would hit this leaving a mission going back to Fort Tarsus. All that precious loot that you gathered out there. That was gone. so frustrating. <laughs> Lost when you hit that Lost 95%. Lost the ether. However, we did do the strongholds, and we never did hit that screen in the stronghold. So maybe we got kicked from a stronghold once. Though. We, did, we get, did. Well, we got that was oh when that the game, was a patch. Though, yeah, that's they right. they were doing a patch, and the whole game server went down. So can't hold that one against them. They're no. trying to put out fixes. So, but they did tweet that this ninety five percent loading screen issue was something that only a few people experienced internally that they thought they had resolved, and were fully. I am fully expecting in the open demo next weekend this issue will be gone i i based on what we went through i don't think there's a single error like there might be something random where a few people have an error i don't see any big errors next week but they had said that there was uh plenty of server capacity it wasn't a capacity issue something internal went down and they had to fix it that's very strange it affected you... ea Throughout all of their game services, right. preventing players from logging in in every game that they have. So something internal really got messed up. So that's up. more interesting because I didn't know that part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, this isn't this isn't all on Bioware. I know if you go on the internet right now, people across every platform are oh, casting tons of shade at Bioware because that's just something that a lot of people I like to do. I sat there and I read the tweets. It was. Oh. Just I know, you brutal. made me so mad the first day. Who, me? Yes. Well, after, after I was going was through it, it six, all, and six then and a half you hours? messaged like six hours in, and you're like, hey, this is this is what's going on. And I was like, yeah, Jake. And yeah, we know. <laughs> We're know. sitting here. We're sitting here. I got to say, though, that nice music ensemble they had for that loading screen <laughs> in the very beginning, the title screen, my head. It was, it's great. I've heard it enough. I never want to hear it again. <laughs> But so Yikes. let's talk. All right. So those were the issues we had. Uh, personally, I think they should have called this a beta. Oh, and definitely. they should not have used the word VIP acronym, or they should not have called it a demo. If they did want to call it VIP, be like VIP beta. Like you get the very first look at it because it, then it wouldn't be so offensive when stuff doesn't work. I do. Yeah. But. I do like how they reached out, though. They, they're like, yeah, everyone no, they, should yeah, be able they to were, play it because yeah. it's just... Very vocal, very they, transparent. They even said if you had access to the VIP demo, um, but because like the, the issues and things, if you didn't get to play it, they're still giving you the stuff. Yeah. So you're still getting the banner and things like that. So that's really cool. Now let's get into the good stuff. Because yes. we actually did get to play this game. Yes, we did. We played it. Instantaneous smile on Brent's What face. do we like? All of it. Oh God, it's so good. Where do you let's where do you with, want to begin? Let's start with the javelins, all right? Let's go. Because every single uh, the the final day for about the last six hours, they open up every javelin for us. Um, so we got to everybody got to pick whatever javelin they wanted to play. Uh, so of course we played all of them if we got a chance to. And every single javelin in the game feels different. When you're playing the Colossus, you feel big, heavy. You feel that you do two. Way more damage than anybody else with your rail guns and things, and you feel that when you're playing the interceptor, you feel like a space ninja. Uh, <laughs> you are literally oh, it's just, so fast. Uh, yeah, the, I'm just running around killing things. So you're like, all right, guys, I'm alting and I'm gonna run through here, and everything's just gonna die. Yeah, he's he's 
he's flying around on there. Yeah, and it's just and you feel that. And then the storm, which is gonna be the most OP class easily, is just when you hit that first teleport, you're like, okay, well, that was pretty cool. I turn invisible and I'm just here now. Yep. And you you feel the, he, he kind of has the, the storm has kind of that mystique and it's supposed to, and you feel it. And that's, that's what I think is, is so good is that, and I skipped the ranger because you got to start as the ranger, but the ranger itself, I, I actually loved it. I did some cool stuff with the ranger. Um, Brennan, Brennan and I were actually in a uh, free play in one of them and we, we were against a tank uh we were doing a world event against a tank and brennan went down and an, our random teammate went down he was pretty useless but you know that's what it is uh and i was one hp and i kind of hid behind a thing uh a barrier used my alt jumped up in the air real quick locked on and then shot my alt while hiding from behind cover and i went around and killed the boss and it ended the world event so I actually really enjoyed the Ranger. I thought you could do a lot of cool stuff with him that you couldn't with others. Um, but th- that's that was one of my favorite things was each Javelin feels powerful, feels like it has a, a place in the game, and it feels completely different than the next one you're going to try. So the Ranger, though, he's he was classified as like your all-purpose, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it, yeah he Ranger's definitely, all-purpose. If you're going to start off and you don't really know where you want to go, definitely start off with Ranger. Yeah. Um, each if you're one not of them has super familiar, tasks that they kind of have to fulfill. Ranger yeah. is basically your soldier class. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, pretty pretty rugged all around. Not not too specialized. So that way you're not. Um, if you don't really know what you want to do, or you just want to get the hang of it, that's a good place to start. Um, for those of us who are more advanced, there's you can choose your your usual play style translates well. So if you know what kind of player you are in general, what you enjoy doing, I mean, I would definitely suggest try all of them, see what you like. But I... It's, it's not to say that the Ranger is not an advanced class. No, because they just, can be if played that way. It, it, it's just, it's definitely more of an in the middle. but More you, versatility, I think. But yeah, you, you're, not as, you're not as squishy as some of the other characters are, which yeah. can be frustratingly weak. Interceptor. Or no, I'm, excuse me, Storm. Yeah, super squishy. We were we were doing one of the stronghold events, and I got one hit killed so many times just by being in the wrong spot. Oh well, that's interceptor too. I got squashed. squishy. I just yep. just. But the mobility makes not up for even that. not yeah. even like a full attack just by getting hit, just. Yep. The giant monster well, that's, touching me. That's just, another thing we'll get to is the tyrant because we did it on hard mode quite a few times, um, and it had some clipping issues. So that where. You could actually accidentally get hit by it, just touched, not an actual attack, and it would kill you. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not, that's just, this is a six week old build as well. Yeah. Um, But back to the classes, uh, the javelins for a moment. What I meant when I was talking about how I thought the ranger was the weakest is because uh, it just feels like when you're doing the ultimate attack of the Colossus and its nuclear warfare, Mm -hmm. if there's a mob out there, it clears the mob. Right. When you do it with a storm and there's a mob out there, it clears the mob. When you do it with the interceptor, you clear the mob. Everything dies. When you do it with the ranger, it looks like you're clearing the mob, and then when the smoke clears, they're still there. Right. So they need to up that damage so that it's clearing the mob, and then, because it just feels a little underpowered right now. No, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah I can see The ultimate's awesome, but when... When you're throwing out as the mob clearing device and it doesn't even clear the mob, it's kind of frustrating. Well, that could be another thing with the uh, the versatility factor because it may not be exactly designed that way. Because the Rangers is another one that you he is the only one that can alt while flying uh, and a few other things. So it could be designed to feel a little weaker, but the versatility factor makes up for it because you can, like I said, I jumped up, spotted them for two seconds and then hid behind cover and shot it. And it hit them anyway, because I I had seen them. Uh, So the way that it targets and locks on is different with the others you're talking about. Like, yeah, it clears them, but then you're vulnerable, right? You with the storm, you're just hovering there in the air. You, you jump right up in the air when you alt and you just sit there. Uh, with well, during the alt for a storm, you're impervious to damage, right? Well, same with the interceptor. But uh, and hovering as a storm, you get your shield, shield. bonus there right. too. So it's standing on the ground is where you're most vulnerable for a storm. You want to hover. It's like a hummingbird. Yeah, right. But I just if they just up the ultimate a little bit, I think 
more players because they put out statistics. Storm was the most used, mm-hmm. and Ranger was actually the least used, and that's the one that you start with. So it's it's you're gonna think people are gonna try to migrate and to other classes to try them, but when they do that, I actually found myself playing Ranger more because I liked it more. But I didn't like doing my alt, and then nothing died. nothing's happening. But you guys are doing them, and you're clearing everything, and I'm like. It's, there's something going on here. Maybe they already fixed it because it's a six week old build. Mm-hmm. We'll have to see in the and future. Maybe, or maybe we're not playing it right, well. too. Well, it could you be can. gear. Could be, yeah. So. Because I know a lot of the. I had an inscription that boosted my uh, my ultimate damage by 10% of my base damage. So True, things yeah. like that can definitely boost that up. I played right. the Colossus a lot. And I think I'm probably going to run with that. Maybe Storm when I play. Um, I just like the fact that I feel so powerful, so slow, but so powerful in in the Colossus. Um, when it's time to alt, it's time to alt. Yeah, everything dies as long as you. Aim Every well. time you, as a being around a Colossus as a teammate, you literally think. Like some enemy is raining you, hellfire yeah. down. You have no idea what's going on. Dude. It's just every time you're sitting there, and then she would pop that, and we were getting on the edge of our seat, like, oh, oh no, like the boss <laughs> is coming, and it's like, oh no, that's just Kaylee. Yeah, <laughs> because it, it's like feeling. a it's like a nuke drop. It's just yeah. a bomb. It's you not get, it's not you common. Get like three, I think three shots. Three maybe. shots. Yep. Um, what I do have to give Bioware a lot of credit for is all the guns feel. The weaponry feels unique and different yeah. when you actually play with them. And they I did sound. not play all of them. That's <laughs> that's one of the biggest things for me. Using the heavy pistol, oh my god, that that pop that it makes every time you fire. It's like wow. This so, one of the things I noticed when we were playing together is that we were all talking about, oh, I like this, and then you'd be like, oh, I freaking hate that. That sucks so bad. But we we're like, oh, this is cool. Or like, oh, I like this gun better. Or I want to run with this build with this kind of character. And I'm like, well, that's not what I want to run with. But each there's so many options that each different person who has a specific play style can get something adapted to how they like to play. Like I was running with a sniper and assault rifle with mm-hmm. the Colossus so I can get those nice long distance snipe shots and then can just pepper the, the mobs that are, are approaching as needed versus oh, but, what were you playing when you tried the Colossus? Auto cannon. And I yeah, I used it. the two specific weapon types that mm-hmm. only the Colossus could use. I used the uh, auto cannon and grenade launcher. That I sounds thought, awesome. I actually thought that was pretty funny that uh, when you and I both ran Colossus and they were running Storms, that you and I had lined up accidentally as the two that they had built in the in the game design to show us. We did? Yeah. <laughs> so I built a shotgun and a, a light machine gun, and you built a flamethrower. Oh, and it was like flamethrower. Flame so nice. The way we had I, I designed our two colossus without ever discussing it were completely different, and they each filled two different needs for the team. Yeah. So it was funny for me to see that because it was the exact design they had gone with in the game or in the uh, in the stuff they showed us in earlier the demonstration. On. Yeah. yeah. Here's a here's a little bit of info for the colossus. The other three javelin types all have a shield and a health bar. The Colossus only has a health bar, and you have to hit a button to bring up the Colossus's shield, and that's where the shield bar is. So there is, when you're shooting and doing your abilities, you don't have a shield. You only have health, which I don't know. It takes, you and I complained about it, but Kaylee... We complained about it, but as time went on, we got used to it, we right. adjusted, and we did much better. And that that's a really good sign because each of these javelin classes are completely different. They have a learning curve to them. It's not just jump in, and now my abilities are this. It's right. jump in, my abilities are this, my play style has to be Yeah, this. you have to learn how to adjust to the character. Yeah. Um, I, didn't, I didn't really get to play all... Th- all four character, all four javelins equally, but I did run with the Colossus and the Ranger, I, and a little bit of the Storm. They were, I think, all three of those I'm, I would be comfortable with using. Um, what was the fourth one? Interceptor. The Interceptor. I probably won't play that one. Um, Good, it's mine. <laughs> <you> can, <laughs> I, it just doesn't really suit the kind of play that I want to do, but. Yeah. What I did also like about the stuff that they did is that there's a lot of stuff that you can put into the different builds 
for weapons, the inscription, um, and they made it feel really well balanced i think um with how you're how you're choosing how to design your character so some of the stuff you have different elementals that you can play with um some of it's just just depending on which class that you're doing so i thought that was really unique because each class feels very different from one another i am a little sad that we didn't get a chance to do a lot of the codex stuff i understand why they they blocked it it's a yeah, it's a demo it's a demo but Kevin well, was... You can be excited uh, for it, though, because it was everywhere. Oh, yeah, so no. Yeah. There's, gonna be there's so, so much, much of it. In out in the world, too. Yeah. During free play, it's yeah. out there. Yeah, Mass Effect so. and Dragon Age both had a same... Well, similar. I... Yeah, yeah. In the Tyrant raid, I... Sorry, Tyrant uh, Stronghold, I turned right when I was underwater in one area and came up in just a random ruins, and then yeah. it gave... It spawned a whole speech from the... Uh, a whole voice kind of interaction with the... Lore. Uh, yeah, with the... Um, we took a squad pick. But it was just, it was so cool to see that I just randomly found this area that unlocked lore in the game and they were talking and about it it. actual it voice lines and everything, conversation. Other than, like, you're supposed it's to turn left path you and you, if you're underwater, you get a little disoriented because it just, it's oh, hard to navigate, yeah. which makes Especially sense. Especially if but. one of your partners is, decides to throw his alt yes. in the water. Just oh my fire God. and electric. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's so us. bright and shiny. <laughs> But, and uh, it's worse too because I always like melee down into the water, so your guy just spins and falls really fast. So you go to the bottom. Yeah. But then I would use it to go up, but when I as soon as I looked up, there was just fire and fl- <laughs> and just there like, was so much going on. I was going like, on I don't know where I am. <laughs> I just stayed still until it was over because I couldn't tell what was going on. Uh, so yeah, the ultimates are incredible to see them and experience them when you're actually doing them to enemies. They feel fantastic. The gunplay is fantastic. The weapons all feel different and they feel like their own. The abilities are great and there are many options for you to decide on when you're choosing your kit. We have videos on YouTube that are going to be showing you loadout. We have a tour of Fort Tarsus. Yeah, what we could do in the demo. There are four characters in there that you can have conversations with throughout the demo. And they all add to, I don't know, like pretty big storylines, lore, things like that. They're mm-hmm. adding depth to mm-hmm. an otherwise empty part of what MMOs are. Like when you talk to one of them and you give them a suggestion, they'll do what you say or they'll, yeah. they'll say that they'll respond to what you've told them to do and they'll talk to you the next time you see them be like oh i did this or whatever like you said and they'll carry on with the conversation and Just you like further you, progress it and you're making right. choices and when they Tarsus ask you a question really building like they said it's our world or my game our world something like that was yeah. their tag for this and you really see that because even though they're binary choices where you have a uh, kind of a good guy or a bad guy it's it really shows it uh the choices that you make are actually react to your interaction with these with these NPCs and it's bioware so we expect that but it was surprisingly well done even showing in the demo where like you said you could only talk to four people yeah well for context one character would told me that he was trying to do something and all of a sudden things got out of control and he ended up committing committing a murder and then he goes, what, what should I do? And then your options are report to the authorities what happened, or you can help him bury the past. <laughs> I opted to contact the authorities, and he thought about it, and then the conversation piece was done. And I went out and did some free play, did Stronghold maybe or something like that, and then it came back later, and I talked to him again, and he was like, Oh, I'm so glad you told me to contact the authorities. I went to the Sentinels, which are the authority, authoritative figures, authoritative figures, if I could speak. They went over everything with him, decided it was self-defense. So he was in the clear, and he felt good about himself once again. But I could have helped him bury it all. <laughs> Steer I helped him to the hide dark it. Side. <laughs> what happened with you when you helped him hide it? I don't know. I actually didn't get to go back in, but I did help him hide it. Because Kevin was like, hey, did you guys do this? Yeah, it was and, late when I told him to go do yeah. that. And then we were all kicked from the server at 9 p.m. And we all cried to ourselves to sleep yeah, on Sunday night. And now we're just waiting for next weekend. But uh, yeah. the other thing, was, which was a lot of fun, is the level of customization you can do to each javelin. Oh, yeah. Um, 
the different textures and they look phenomenal. Yeah. So te- you have textures, you can do custom colors. Um, so if you really want to like, I was messing with the custom up, colors. Oh my gosh. It's so much fun. Yeah. You just get the color wheel mm-hmm. and you just spin it around whatever color you want. Individual pieces, you can change them. Uh, you are going to make and in oh. this game, like you have to call this an MMO light because it is. Mm-hmm. And so in these type of games, you get, don't want to call it a raid because they're not calling it a raid, stronghold. but the stronghold, you get these gear pieces and then you need these pieces, specific rarity. And in the MMOs, when you go to the social hub, you all look exactly the same. Yes, in the recent years, we've been able to transmogrify and stuff like that to create your custom image. But this takes it to a whole nother level because you actually get to choose the material compound. And it looks of the gear. You can see it. And the, and the color. The way, and amount of wear, too. The amount of wear to it. You can have dirt. it brand new, have it dirty. You can have it used but clean. And, like, the clean look and the new look, Kaylee was like, what's the difference? And I said, and you can see the scuffs zoom in on them. Yeah. Zoom yeah. in on the armor, and then you can see the scuffs to, and scratches. To be fair, my suit that I was building was an all-black suit with very, like, limited bright color. So I couldn't really see it at first. Then I zoomed in, and I was like, oh, oh okay, I do see the... The but brand new is straight up you can, polished yeah, you can off the it. shelf. Do you think if you uh, – so a couple of questions about this. I didn't know yeah, the got? demo. So uh, about your your design for your javelin, do you think if you chose brand new, do you think the actual javelin changes? Performance-wise, no. No, no, no. I don't mean that. I mean let's say you go outside and go into a, get a scuff. You know, you, you fight some things. Do you oh, think no. It, no, right? no, it no. doesn't change. So it doesn't come back. It's just brand new all the time. Yeah. yeah. Now, another and thing that's is, a selection you make. Do you think yep. that's earnable stuff? Like stuff that you'll have to either purchase or buy. No, it is. The game? They've said that. They have said it. Um, you actually earn coin in the game and right. they do have microtransactions for the cosmetic stuff. And those are called shards. Yep. Yeah. Shards. Uh, so the coin in the game you earn by doing the daily, weekly, monthly challenges in the world events, doing the world events, uh, stuff like that. Collecting the materials can sometimes give yeah. them. Everything in the demo was priced at 25 coins a piece. So by the time I was done, I had well over 1500 coins and I was wow. able to just buy everything. Yeah. I yep. bought everything in the demo. And so I don't know if that's what the prices are going to stay. They didn't, no, the, no, they said they, they just said did that not. so that we would be able to get our hands on the yeah. vanity stuff. And, uh, for gear, they had gear that was purchasable too. So I w- you're able to swap your gear pieces. Plus you get to customize them too. And they have full gear sets in the game. Oh, and too. The other thing I liked is that it was a little frustrating, but it makes sense is that they have a little challenge challenges that you have to do when you're trying to like use an assault rifle. So in order to upgrade, you have to put in the amount of time behind the assault rifle to enable you to make it rare. So you actually have to work towards leveling up. So the grind is there in a way that feels meaningful and not a gigantic waste of time. Yeah, well, the feed too, system is awesome anyway. Yeah. Because every time it awesome. popped up, I was like, <laughs> beat you. Like that, I was... Yep. That mattered to me because it, it brings a competitive element, even though it doesn't. It's not a PvP game. So you earn you earn feats, which are little medals that you get rewarded every time you go out. Mm-hmm. And then all Just four like of you get get put onto a ending screen, <laughs> and then after the mission's over, and you get like your Monster XP. Hunter. Yeah, like that. You get your XP, and then all the, the medals all the medals right start popping up, and they yep. just pop up, pop up, pop up. If and then you see who did the best. Fuck. There is, yeah. yeah, there is one feet. Yeah, there's I'm gonna be all gone. All kinds of resources out there to collect. It's yeah. there's just the world is full of stuff. And the world and, and we only got a chance to take a, t- a peek at a very small portion right. of the map too. Yeah, so. very small. Now your 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 javelins do not communicate with each other, right? Your characters do not communicate in the world with each other. Is that correct? Right. You d- you don't have a you you communicate with your um, arcanist, who you will be unlocking as you go throughout and the you game. Have different an AI ones. or whatever the, that's with you, right? Yeah. That's your arcanist. That's your the person that telepathically communicates with you. Oh. Yeah, that's how it is. Uh, the vistas that you are going to experience Just, in this are on a larger scale than I had expected them to be. In a very, very satisfying way. Yeah. When you're flying through... And then all of a sudden it opens up and you're just seeing mountains and everything. And it's just like, well, and there's waterfalls and you're just like, wow. And because you're flying, you have an element of heat that you're building up and then you can overheat your suit. And crash. So if you're flying and you're getting close, but you're near a waterfall, fly through that waterfall, 
that cools it off. You keep flying. So that's really cool. And then the flight and the I was way about that the, the system is for that. The actual it is the the there's it's seamless. That's the only yeah. way to describe it. From running to flight to f- to attacking is like a seamless transition. You never have to actually stop doing anything. Yep. It just completely you can go into the next one. Now your skill level may vary because I suck at it. <laughs> I really do. But yeah, I was becoming concerned because I had seen people on there saying, "Oh, controls are so clunky," and everyone, no, I was like, "Man, clunky. that I would just... really suck." Because their last game, the controls were very clunky, and right. I, I hated the controls. Oh, I loved and it. Then I was like, "Man, that's not a good sign if they're loose like that." And then I got in there and I played it, and no, it's no. It's so there, really... there is a level of skill involved, and you have to develop that with getting used to that particular aspect of play and each javelin has different ones too right so yeah. that's another thing you have to get yep. used to so, i couldn't after playing the interceptor i went to the colossus and i was like what is it, this? And it, was it so felt hard. so heavy I didn't like, it yeah, yeah. It i was like really no heavy. way like you just feel like a gigantic tank you actually feel like a gigantic tank which i loved i love just you just stomp on everything the interceptor so has a triple jump into a dash <sighs> yep it does. The Colossus has one jump, and then you can kind of boost yourself. Yeah, you kind of like, like you kind of like of just float upward. Um, so back to the gear for a moment. When you get these gear sets, it's not this is the set of the Legion of Dawn. You have to wear the whole set; they're interchangeable. So, so you if you like the shoulders from like this Diablo. set, you don't do that. That I'm not 100 percent sure on because we haven't seen in, anything in the demo that we played. The actual vanity but, stuff, but because it it's all vanity. But they, they had they had the colors with like um, the one that you start off was purple. So, um, but I didn't see anything that looked like it was linked. But they may or may not add it in. Yeah, all of your bonuses and stuff come from the components mm-hmm. which you put onto the suit. Everything else is cosmetic. So. Well, the and, one scene two or no? And in order to no, no, no. So, so with getting your blueprints your and stuff, guns, your guns, your and things, abilities, and your components. You have overall, to f- there's eleven, eleven uh, customizable options that actually impact your score, uh, your power. Uh, there are eleven things, but then on top of that, there there are the vanity stuff, which is paint, animations, um, and then each each armor piece: arms, legs, chest, and helmet. So there's there's about. And they Almost have banners too. Things that you can, so you banners can, that you can customize in this game. There's so much, and there. the pilot is custom. Well, uh, yeah, you can, you actually create but your character in the those. beginning. They, no, they we didn't get to do demo. that because they throw you in midway through yep. at level ten, and you go from ten to fifteen. So you don't get to experience that so when, creating your character yeah, process. When you, but when the you pilot in, is you, creatable. What I thought was interesting, and I, I'm hoping they keep it like this way. It's like when you're walking around, it's first person perspective. So, yeah, that's how it is. So when you hop into the javelin, you're actually getting into the javelin. Like you see your legs go in. You slide in there. It just looks like really realistic. Did each javelin look differently as you tried to get in? Yes. Them? Yep. They all do. They all open. And and they match too. the color scheme. Your particular everything. Your loadout that you choose. That is what you're actually getting into. And it yep. wasn't in the demo, but in the actual game, they've also said that. On the same platform where you get into your javelin will be your best friend's javelin. So the ones that you visit or you uh, do the most with that week will be also be shown there. so you can see theirs. That's really cool. That's yeah. dope. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there's so much we can say, but we're running short on time. I guess for those of you that don't know what Anthem is or haven't seen anything or haven't heard Brett. Which is very strange. Which since would be it's nearly been about impossible. 20 episodes of Anthem. I guess 20. personally, five. There's I been know. 34 episodes of Anthem. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Personally, I guess the best way to describe Anthem to me is that Bioware took all of the best elements of Mass Effect, Destiny, and The Division and kind of molded them into its own thing and created a gigantic world to explore filled with tons of loot. Even though Anthem was in development before the others, you can easily see the influence of them. In a good way. And also, all I will say about my playtime with Anthem is that I don't want to compare Anthem and Destiny ever. I don't I don't want to have that debate. <laughs> because to me... Because it is no debate. Anthem is superior in every way. And I've only been able to play a very, very condensed demo. 
and I can already see the systems that are at play here. And these systems, even in the second iteration of Destiny, do not exist. And that's that's the difference right there. Right. The best way that I could really describe it is that uh, we had probably, what would you say, two hours worth of content in the demo. Things yeah. to actually do, probably an hour or so for the mission uh, to get your second javelin. And then free play, you could spend however long in it, but then uh, that with the tyrant. Uh, so we probably had two, three hours maybe of the demo. And I, we spent, I don't think what, I would call free play 30 part hours? of the content because in in free play, yeah, we spent well over 30 hours playing this game. Just the demo. Just this small section. We played it and we never got bored. It right. was just we fun. Experts. It was so fun to do. And we did that stronghold. We did the stronghold so times. six times. Right. We did it six times and we just wanted to keep doing it. Right. Because the combat is just so fun. And and you just keep sending those waves so I can keep blowing them up. Because the and the cooperation aspect of it is so good too. And we all laughed and poked fun at them when we saw the uh, with the voice actors. And then you f- you catch yourself doing you it. You start and you're like, doing Damn some it. of those things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did I make fun of them? Bogies. And it really uh, is, we but, didn't get that bad, but it it was. But you, I did make a joke, and I said, "Watch my six when I went." <laughs> yeah. But the cooperation <laughs> aspect of the game is so big because hard mode. It wasn't the hardest, but you could. Some of those enemies could kill you fairly. Oh, quickly. Yeah. oh yeah, we we did team wipe at least once. Yep. The oh, one, especially the when we that. were well the, testing new, new. We all started javelins, but... started new javelins, and we just went right in. Instead of because you're in the mindset, I'll just play this class now. You actually have to learn the class right. before you can go into the right, fucking right. hard strong hold. Right. Because they go in, they're like, pew. And it's like, <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> no, seriously, the snipers and some of the more elite ones, they will one shot you. They melt you. Yeah. There's one that hovers and he just sprays the bullets. Hunters. If you yeah. don't get out of the way of so those bullets, it's machine you gun are dead. and they're like hard hitting machine gun and it's just like not stopping. It's just going yeah. forever. Yeah. Pew. Pew pew. If you sit as the uh, Colossus with your shield and try and block it all, it will eat you through 500 shield and yeah. still do damage to you. So, yeah, it will. It's Snipers will take the entire Colossus shield off plus do damage. Snipers uh, do that to other other javelins too. They take the entire shield and leave you down to one peg of health. Health drops from enemies as you kill them. Almost health and every ammo drops. Enemy too, I've noticed. I I didn't think I killed anything that didn't drop me a health globe. So yeah, there's there's plenty to get around, but you do have to get to the you yeah. have to get to it. So it's risky. Evasive maneuvers. Yeah, or there was or we were on a ledge play. and I had run out of ammo, and I was like, "There's ammo down there. I'm just gonna go down there and get it." The spiders just ate me. I was dead. <laughs> I, went down, yeah. I went down to get the ammo, and they just dead. And I was like, damn. And I was a Colossus, and it was just my health just went pew, gone. Oh, he was bitching about playing, oh, playing so Colossus upset. so much. And I was like, after I had gone through, like, what, maybe four hours of, of Colossus oh, play? I well, I was playing that. as the Storm the whole time, yeah. and I was a mobile class. Yeah. And now I'm in my head, I'm like, I'm the Colossus. I just need to stand here. I'm the tank. No, that's it's not, not how quite that works. like that. No, no, it's not like the, playing the Juggernaut class in Mass Three. Yeah, where you literally were the tank, but you could just stand there and just take it forever. You just took everything. So there's there's nuance there for each class, which mm-hmm. is which is wonderful. And I was right about the one that one thing we did discuss uh, as far as like boosting your health as a Colossus. That is, they do have a lot of components for that that were bugged. Uh, so you may have even had them on, and it wouldn't have yeah. extended your health bar. Right. So it was stuff like that that we will take those issues away. Yeah. Um, but honestly, I I just I loved it. I was so it yeah. was the gr- so, it was a great time. Everything that I took in the game, which is a lot, yeah, was there. And there was more there. Like when Kaylee touched on it a little while ago with this blueprint system. When the right. when you yeah. go out in the free play, you have a weapon that you're using. Mm -hmm. we'll say auto rifle so you like using this weapon and the auto rifle isn't just auto rifle there are names to each type of auto rifle and each does different things some will do burst some will have more range stuff like that and they have different looks and then the one that feels good to you you want a more powerful version of that you don't have to rely on drops and hope to get it but You, you can you can But you also have blueprints that are available for you to craft the weapon, and you go out into free play, and you are looting camps and stuff like that. You're looting uh, 
uh, deposits, things like that, that are out there to get materials. And then you can start to craft these components and into the weapons. And then you may be able to craft the uncommon version, which is green. And then you do that. And then you want the blue one, which is going to have better properties. All right. Which is, is locked. So it's locked. How do I unlock like, it? I have all the stuff. That's when you go to what she was saying. You go check your challenges. And in your challenges, under the auto rifle, under that name, you have an assignment to do something in order to unlock it. You may have to kill 50 elite soldiers or something like that. And then you can unlock that blueprint. So when you get the blueprint. That's amazing. So you get the blueprint yeah. at level five. You are now level 30. You don't have to go out into the MMO world <laughs> and find some traveler or some merchant who has the level 30 version of the blueprint. When you get a blueprint, it levels with you throughout the game. And it's up to you to do the challenges and get the components that is required to get the better rarity of the yeah. item. And you can you can break down all the different weapons that you don't use mm-hmm. and just get parts out of them. Yeah. So they're not just eating up space in your inventory. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. This is a fantastic system. I discovered it, and I said to these guys, I cannot wait to show you this system that I saw, because I didn't think, I didn't see them, uh, I didn't see them talk about this system like Oh, this. no, they hadn't. This was... I mean, I heard them talk about the inscription stuff, and I'm like... I, how they were describing so the inscri- was, inscription, I didn't really make sense. It didn't really make sense until you actually like got into the game. You're like, oh, okay, it's just a part of what you do, mm-hmm. not the end all be all. Is there another element that adds depth right. to wanting to go out and do right. these things over and over and over again? Because the reason to grind the rolls are different for the inscriptions every time. So every time you craft that piece, the inscriptions on it are going to be different. And then when you craft them. If you didn't get the role that you want for your play style, keep crafting it. Oh, random right. materials, out to free play, go collect some stuff. I'll be back. And the so, craziest part is there's six tiers of rarity. We we were only given up to the third rarity in yeah. the demo, and we were already feeling like, like, oh man, I got the blue. It's 19 power. Yeah, and it goes up to 47. And in the so full like, game, we we're, were we can't wait to get rid of the goddamn. Blues yeah, so it's we don't want that shit. It's, it's just trash. Gonna, but we loved it. Yeah, it, it well, was it's just... Gonna, it's going to hold the same kind of concepts as, as a Diablo game. Where, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. Those rarities will only matter as you progress and become more powerful. OP, yeah. And the consumables, when you go out into the mission, you're able to, at level 30, you're able to put three on, and they're all stackable. So all four of us put up to three things that are going to enhance our play on that mission. So and you unlock those Another thing. And, and that, you, you craft those, too. They... I, I know that they borrowed heavily from the mastery multiplayer, which to me is one of the, my all time favorite multiplayer games. So I was really excited to see that they took the best parts of that and they kept that feeling because there's just something about that multiplayer that really hasn't translated to any other ones that I've played. No, they tried it with the dragon age and it didn't hit. It, for it me. didn't work. Didn't so, hit. but they, they nailed it in this one for at least from what I've seen so far. And the Andromeda stuff was kind of similar, but like those controls are just too loose. That, that game was yeah. loose. I didn't like it. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's Anthem. That's the VIP demo. The open demo, by the time you're listening to this, will be available today because you'll be hearing this on Friday, which the open demo is live for everybody to jump in there and play. Get in there and play it. Hit us up at Twitter at the TheSosGG. Tell us what you guys think of it. Unfortunately, we went overtime today, and we have to end the show. So. Worth it. We'll see you next week. Thank you, everybody, for listening, and thank you guys for being part of the panel. Until next time. I'll see you. Toodles. See you.